So in this lesson, we are going to recap our trigonometric functions and ratios to solve some more examples and practice problems. All right, so with there in our trig, let's remember how to remember our ratios. So we have what we call SOCATOA, or SOCATOA for some of you. Now, what does this mean? Well, SA, that is the sine of the angle equals opposite over adjacent. The cosine of the angle is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And then lastly, the tangent is equal to the opposite over adjacent. And this is all in reference to if we have a right triangle. So if I am looking at angle A, first of all, the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. Now, the opposite side in relation to angle A would be here. Therefore, the adjacent leg is one of the legs that forms the actual angle. Now, remember when we are solving for missing angle measures, we must use the inverse function. Note, when finding angle measures must use the inverse of the ratio. What do we mean? The inverse of sine, the inverse of cosine, and the inverse of tangent. So let's do a couple of practice problems. So here we have example one. Let's look at example one. Now, I am trying to solve for angle or side X. In reference to the angle that I have, this particular angle being 42 degrees, I am giving the opposite and the hypotenuse. So in Sokotoa, let's think about the two values that we have. We have opposite and hypotenuse, so that is the sine. So we're gonna say the sine of 42 degrees is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. We solve, x would now be equal to 25 times the sine 42 degrees. So if we put that in our calculator, sine 42 degrees, so sine of 42 degrees is approximately, so we're gonna say 25 times 0.6691. Point six six nine one times twenty five gives us x is approximately sixteen point seven would be our solution. So, with example one worked, you can now work numbers one or two, three, and four, solving the missing side measures sides with trig. Okay, what about angles? What about example one, two, three, and four here, finding missing angles with trigonometry? Uh, once again, let's look at example one here. Now here in this example, we are looking to solve for angle X. Go about it in the same manner. In reference to my angle, I have the opposite side, which is nine. So there's my opposite, opposite, and I have the adjacent. So in our Sakatoa, what do we have? Opposite and adjacent gives us tangent. So tangent of x is equal to 9 over 20. Here we're looking for the angle measure. 
So x would now equal the inverse tangent of 9 divided by 20. We would want to divide 9 by 20 and get the decimal approximation. 9 divided by 20 gives us 0.45. So we're going to take the inverse tangent of 0.45 in our calculator. So second tangent, 0.45, and we get x is equal to 24.22. So if we're rounding to the nearest whole number, then x is equal to 24 degrees. Now, let's allow you some time to put this into practice and work examples 2, 3, and 4.